Good morning. I started talking before I turned on the camera. That's so funny. Okay, um, I'm back at the closet again. And um, this is, the reason how come I'm even showing you this is because I'm thinking complete disclosure. That way maybe I won't keep so much. Okay, now this is actually a bunch of antique buttons and I love them. I mean, they are like gorgeous. So I will save these. Sometimes I make jewelry out of them, do other things with them. So I am saving these. See there, I love them so much. They, they went into a jewelry box. <laughs> okay, and then my other thing that I think I'll probably keep these. Um, this is antique beading. And you know, when I do, uh, like I've got that old photo that I'll scrapbook and maybe I'll use some of that on here. I have um, used some of the old laces. I'll show you a project at the end. Um, the art sign that's in my scrapbook room. I used old jewelry and old lace on there. Okay, and then I have this. And it looks like a bunch of everything and some Alonson lace from France. So I'm gonna go through this and hopefully I'll get rid of most of it. So um, you might want to speed through it or I'm just gonna show it really quick. Now, I used to have fabrics and stuff, but I must get rid of those the last time because I thought they were probably still up there, but I was gonna get rid of them anyhow. So now I have like little tassels. I don't know if I need them. These are smaller, but see, I think that they're too big. They might be all right if I did. Sometimes I do a little mini album. So maybe I'll save these ones because they're still small. Now I have this. Oh, this is um, lace that was on my daughter's flower girl dress. So I'll maybe save that. Here's some gold, what is it? Is it stretchy? Yeah, it's stretchy. Uh, what is it? It's like to put on things that's already made up. Huh, I have no recollection of this whatsoever. Um, but I want that for when we do ornaments with the kids. Maybe I'll save that. I'm going to get rid of this elastic. I can't think of what I would use it for. That's actually kind of pretty. It might make neat if I just had it on a page. Let me think about that. I'm going to save those things so far. Maybe the elastic. Here's some ribbons. And if I save these ribbons, I'm actually, uh, there's some more little tassels. I do have a collection of flowers. So far, I'm keeping them, at least until I do a few projects with the kids. So these ones are already cut off, so I'm saving these. Um, here's some ribbon. I will get that together. Here's some little tassels. I'll save the tassels for now. Um, here's some more of those little doily flowers. I'm going to save those. I'm going to try to use them on something. Oh, this is another one that's from my daughter's dress. And I might just start using those on scrapbook pages and stuff too. Um, this is some Alonson lace that's on something. I am going to get rid of that. I mean, it's gorgeous as I'll get out, but I'm still getting rid of it because I can't save everything. Um, these are from... I think my sister's wedding. So I don't know, would I use those for anything? Could it be, could I use it in a craft project? Am I doing anything like that? Let me think about that for a while. Here's some of those little things. I don't think this is from 
my daughter's flower girl dress because it looks different. They look old. They look older. This might be from her dress or something that didn't get used. So I will maybe save those. I could use them on a mini album or, you know, if I'm doing something old, I might just use some lace on it. I love lace. Here's some more of those florals. Yeah, I think these have to go. I'm going to get rid of these. I'll see if I can, um, I might put them on with some, some stuff that I thought I'd put on for junk journals or something. Now here's an applique. Here's another applique. I bet you my mom gave me these. So I might, I maybe would use this one. I don't think I would probably use these. So I think I'm going to put those in my Etsy shop, see if I can sell them in there. Um, oh my gosh, here's another collar. Okay, so that's got to go. Here's a little half doily. That's got to go. Another collar. This is cut work. I just can't believe all the stuff I have. Here's actually a collar that came off something I wore, a shirt, back in the 80s. <laughs> so that's got to go. Here's an old pillow cover. Well, it's not that old because it was on my daughter's bed. And maybe I will wash that and then see if I can get rid of it. Here's another one of those bonnets. Do you think I have enough of those? I think those have to go. Here's some trim. Now I would definitely put that on a pillowcase because I think it's I think it's not used because I had bought some trim that wasn't used. These these go on pillowcases, so I would actually sew those on, maybe, unless I decide against it. Now this is, I don't know what, another piece of lace. It maybe feels like it's from my daughter's dress, but I don't know what all the black stuff is on it. There wouldn't be black stuff on it. This looks like it came from something black, black um, fabric. Okay, here is another collar. That is so funny. I just can't believe all the collars. Okay, they got to go. Here's another one. I mean, it's as pretty as can be. But, I mean, who would wear it? I mean, I would, you know, if I was from another time period. <laughs> oh, here's a cross. And here is, do I have two of these or just one? This is just one. I don't see me using yellow. So that's got to go. What is this? Another collar. I got a feeling if I want to get rid of those, I'll have to iron them or throw them away. <laughs> okay, and here is another one of those purse tops. I really had fun making purses, but will I do that again? Here's another pillowcase trim. But if I don't have two, I doubt that I would use it. I'm putting that in the has to go pile. Here's another collar. Oh my gosh, these must all be from my husband's grandma and somehow I ended up with them. Here's just a piece of lace. It's got to go. Um, here's another collar and it's so pretty but it's like it's got to go. Here's a doily that's 
kind of had it. It's got to go. Here's another one that I love cut work. That's, that's my favorite thing. But, um, yeah, it's like these are just past their perfect stage. Here is some old hot pads that were never finished. And so I've got, I think you had to have two to make a pair. So there's two, there's two and an odd one. Those have to go. Yeah, I feel better about this. Because <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, what if I want to keep it all? I will save these because I would definitely sew them on a pillowcase because I, I love seeing that on there. At least the one that's on the top of the bed. Oh, here I have a little tiny bud that can go. Do I have a... See, I like these where they're really wide too. Okay, that's one set. Oh, maybe it's not. I kind of like the Mithra sets. That's a set. This is one by itself. Here's a set and here's a set. I do not see one to match that. But maybe I could use it on something else because it's really wide. I love those when they're wide and I don't see a matching to this. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I will save this one because it's nice and wide. So that wasn't as bad as I thought. So I think this is it for the boxes. These things have got to go. And so I'm going to go grab something from the shelf and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and um, got some of the things that are on those shelves on the side of my closet. And also I've taken this velvet ribbon and all my other ribbon has rubber bands around it, but I thought that would ruin the velvet. And so um, I've stuck just like strips of paper around there and then put washi on it so to hold it shut. Because I, I thought about just putting washi on it, but that would just ruin it too. Okay, so now I've found old buttons and I think somebody must have gave me these because I really don't remember them. Boy, that thing is old and rusty. So that must be, these must be something that somebody gave me because I don't really remember seeing that before. Um, I use buttons in my jewelry. Sometimes I use them on scrapbook pages. Um, some of these I probably would never use. So um, like these ones here that are covered. And then I have these ones that are covered that they had the shanks taken off them. Somebody must have played with them. Maybe one of the kids had them on something. And so I'm just going to go through these. These things here, I've seen these before, but I don't remember what they are. It says Red Point OPA. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. And so I will save like the metal ones. I can use those. Um, some of these still have um, s stuff on them. Um, some of these I just won't use, so I'm going to put those someplace else to get rid of them. And some of these I will use. And I've made bracelets out of them. And this one is, well, it looks like it's got clear on it, but it's um, it looks like it's in rough shape. This one is very interesting to me. And I'd kind of like to know about it just in case it came off something um, from my husband's grandfather or something because I know that um, I know some of the buttons that I got were um, like from his grandma who was 100 when she died and or 101. And so some of those would be old. Now this I don't think is old. I think I want to get rid of some of these. That I probably won't keep. But like these mother of pearl ones, I like using those. 
and different things. And I even found a key. And sometimes I make jewelry out of keys too. So I will save this. This looks like it's got, oh, it's got a lion on it. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna finish going through these. I found these ones that I've got in an auction and they're from Stampin' Up. And I'll tell you, they're they're super pretty. I mean, they're, they're not real old or anything. Well, maybe eight years, but they're really pretty. I'll definitely use those on a scrapbook page. So I need to put those where I see them. And then I think these were some that I had pulled out to use maybe on a scrapbook page because they're very colorful. Now, I don't know why, but this had a piece of tape on it. It's funny things that you should be fine. Oh, and I've decided I definitely will not use this because you know how the elastic goes out of things. So I'm putting that in the um, get rid of box. But I'll continue going through these buttons. Oh, I also found his grandma used to do rock tumbling and it made these really pretty um, smooth rocks and she did that with different stuff. Oh, this is a bead. I think, yeah, a bead. But these are all like rocks that she would do in her rock tumbling. So she was very crafty too. I said, I told my husband, I said, it looks like you married somebody like dear old mom and I guess, and dear old grandma. Okay, so I'm going to finish going through these and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I have um, went through the buttons and I'm definitely getting rid of these, um, these tumbled stones and I'm getting rid of these buttons so far and then I just, and I'll probably keep those ones and now I'm to these ones that um, I think they're from a place like Dress My Craft, but I know some of them I got at a place called the Flower Factory before they um, went out of business. And so I've got baby ones. So I need to actually put that um, in like here's an iron-on baby thing. I need to actually put them with baby stuff so that I use them. Here's just some tiny little buttons. And a lot of this is tiny little buttons because my mom used to make Barbie clothes. And that's what a lot of these are. I mean, these are like mini minis. So those are the ones that she used for Barbie clothes. So um, I am saving these, but I'll use them on craft. I mean, scrapbook. Well, I don't, this kind of looks like it's a, I don't know what. It almost looks like you, a little nail or something, but it's plastic. I don't think it belongs to anything. Now I'm wondering, does it belong to something here? So, and here's like a little ban ballerina dress on a hanger. So I just need to put these where I will use them because I would definitely put them on. And here's some more of those one things I said they didn't come off my daughter's dress. They look older. I'm getting rid of those. This looks like they've been um, abused. Here's a baseball cap. See, I bought these when I first started crafting. I mean, scrapbooking. But now I just have not used them. Here's another little button. I kind of like the button separated from the other stuff. So I think I'll separate the baby stuff from the other buttons and go from there. Okay, I've gone through all the buttons and sorted them. Like I've got this little train and I know my mom used to put these on um, like the Cabbage Patch doll clothes. I forgot she made those too. So I will save that because the only one I have left but I'll I'll put it on a scrapbook page or something. There's little bows. She used to use those. I think you can see them through there. And here's one little mouse. And I know I've had more of those, so I don't know what I've used them for, but I must use them for something. So um, I'm saving like these cute little anchors and sailboats. Um, 
I got some little flowers. Here's like all baseball stuff. And I bought that when I first started scrapbooking, but never used them. And here's some school ones. Apples. And that one little thing I said, I don't know what it looked like, but it was a pencil. So that's what, you know, it has all, like it has ABC and then apples. I have rabbits in here and they were from my mom. And then that little, pr that little dress, it said princess. And then there's like a little makeup thing and a purse and a necklace. And then there's, um, like two poodle dogs. And all I can think of is they go with this. I don't know. I put them in there. I have a whole bag of baby stuff. And so I'll put that with babies. And so I'm getting rid of these buttons here. I will save these little tiny buttons. Um, these ones that look like baby buggies, they're dark blue and dark red. I don't really like them. Um, here's some little uh, watering cans. I'm not going to keep them. Um, here's some little anchors, but they're they're not the style I like. I like the ones that are rounded on the button. These are kind of look more like arrows, but they are anchors. Um, I have like little ice cream cones, but the whole thing is purple. I have no love for them. Um, I do have these little cars. They look like little race cars. Hopefully you can see things through there. Um, these actually came with confetti. And then um, there were little alligators and they look like the ones that came on men's clothing. I don't remember who, who were the alligator. I know the polo was Ralph Lauren, but these little alligators and my mom used to put those on cabbage, the little boy cabbage patch clothes. So I've got three of those. So I'll save those because they might be cute for something. I got a couple little dolphins, one in blue and green, and then a white fish, which would have been really cute for Aiden's one fish, two fish. So I got those. Oh, and these ones here, it's roller skates. Um, I want to just call them vinyl now, records. It's got music notes. And um, I thought this would be really cute to go with that boho summer. Or, or I don't know. I have this boho collection. It looks like the 70s. So I'm going to definitely put that with that because that would be cute. I have a little penguin. So I'll save that. And I have some clowns. I don't know if... I'll save them for a little while, but I don't see... And then the really cute little hearts. There's four of those. And then I had these ones that they're... I actually bought them when we were doing card classes. And we cut the bunny off of them. They're supposed to be like little tiny barrettes. But we cut the bunny off of them and used them on cards. So they don't really close. Well, this one closed. I mean, all of them closed but one. And I just don't think they work well. But I would cut them off and use them on like a Easter card or, you know, a little baby card. So I'm going to save those. So I'm going to try to get these with the things where I will maybe use them. So I did get rid of, and I'm getting rid of the stones if I didn't say that, the tumbled rocks. So I'm getting rid of these things here, this whole box of stuff. And so the rocks and these buttons. And so that's, I think that's it for today. And I will be back tomorrow with maybe the rest of that closet. So thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.